The Glasshouse Mountains are a set of volcanic plugs standing proudly above the Sunshine Coast hinterland in southeast Queensland. The twelve mountains rise abruptly above farmland, just one and a half hours drive north of Brisbane, and are a worthy destination for a long weekend or even a full week's holiday. Mount Biwar is the tallest peak of the group at 556 metres above sea level. It's an impressive conical shape with steep gradient on all sides. The easiest route to the summit is a grade one rock climb known as the tourist route, which is a popular walk often underestimated with plenty of exposure and polished slabs. There's a picnic area at the car park with signs warning you of the dangers of the route. Walking past the picnic area gives you a good view of the scramble up. It looks a lot steeper than it is. A graded track leads quickly from the picnic area to the apron at the base of the route. The first slab is intimidating and the technical crux of the route. The easiest line is obvious with the rock worn and discoloured by thousands of climbers. Even in dry conditions the rock is not very grippy. It's quite polished which gives a feeling of unease to most climbers. Chiselled hand and footholds at the start. There is a final steepening in the first slab out of a mini water-worn pothole. If you can climb this first section confidently, you'll have no problem with the rest of the route. There is actually an easier and less exposed route along ledges to the left here, which is better to use on the descent. Given the proximity of Biwa to the large population areas of southeast Queensland, it's no surprise that many people visit the mountain for an adventure and quickly find themselves out of their comfort zone on the exposed slabs. Rescues are common, needlessly wasting emergency resources. Before attempting Biwa, please gain some climbing and some challenging bushwalking experience first, and if possible, invite an experienced climber to join your party who can bring a rope to use as a handline to descend. One example of an unprepared party that we saw was on a 30 degree day, two teenage boys wearing flip-flops and shorts, no top, no hat. The only equipment they had were mobile phones and car keys. Heading up towards the organ pipes there and big overhangs. Big slab, easy angled, nowhere near as polished as Tibrigargan. Quite a bit of exposure at the end here. Rock is very polished. Not as polished as Tibrigargan. The slabs lead directly up to the middle of a large sandy cave. Organ pipes and you can see where all the layers have peeled off one by one. Quite overhanging. Turn right in the cave and follow the track out past the cliffs to a weakness where the upper mountain can be accessed. Once on to the upper mountain, the views open up all around and continue to expand as you gain height. Make sure you check the weather forecast. If the slabs are wet, the descent will be extra challenging and dangerous. Biwa has a spectacular summit. You'll want to spend an hour on the summit, soaking in the views and the atmosphere, wandering around and taking photos of the surrounding area from different angles, watching the clouds and the shadows change. The afternoon sun position is best for photos of Krooknek and Tibro to the east. Clear day, you can see Brisbane. You'll want to come back time and time again, and when you do, there are other, quieter options for you to choose, such as the East Face, which is a Grade 2 climb. The Glasshouse Mountains are a fun destination. Please be responsible and take care of yourself, others, and the mountains. <laughs>